Shalom, everybody. Rabbi Edelstein here with a very special installment this week of Rabbi E in 3, brought to you by Maor, Washington, D.C. You know our website by now, meordc.com. Have a look and learn about the programs we offer. So where are we? Well, I'll give you a clue. We're in a very special spot on location, a very holy spot. I don't have time to spare, so I, I, okay, where? Get, okay, come on, I'll give you a clue. It's um, the holiest spot in the physical world right now, say, say our sages. Right now, that's where we are. Holiest spot in the physical world. Come on, come on. Western Wall? Good guess, no. But there is a picture of the Western Wall behind me in a rather rare winter snowstorm over there. You're in my sukkah. Welcome to Rabbi E's sukkah, the sukkah of the Edelstein family. It's great to have you. Yes, very holy spot. Every sukkah, the Shechina rests in the sukkah. The divine presence is here. And the four walls of the sukkah, in my case, beautifully direct, decorated by my children, the four walls are a remembrance of the miraculous clouds of glory, the Anane Kavod, that surrounded the Jewish people when we traveled in the Midbar in the wilderness for 40 years, protecting us and guiding us. The sukkah is an expression of trust in God and faith in God. The air of the sukkah, you breathe it in, it has to be a beautiful night here too, but uh, on a spiritual level, it can deepen our amuna, our faith, and our felt trust, bitachon, in God. That we have a spiritual essence and a mission in this world, and we have a, a special connection to God as, the Jewish, uh, as part of the Jewish people, and He guides us and watches over us with incredible divine providence. You know, rabbis have said throughout the ages, that the miracle of Jewish survival in the exile, since the Romans destroyed the Second Temple 2,000 years ago, that miracle is even greater in some sense than the splitting of the sea and the manna and the clouds of glory in the wilderness. How have we been able to survive, and not just survive, but flourish and improve the countries we've always lived in? And now half of our people living in our homeland there in, er in the land of Israel, they should be well. Incredible miracle of Jewish survival and the, the divine providence that surrounds our people. Ah, so Sukkot is, and that sense of divine providence leads to Simcha. Because you can have eating and drinking galore, but if you don't have an inner security, you don't have joy, you don't have Simcha. That's the, the deepest part of the joy of Sukkot. Ah, there's a, still a few more days of Sukkot left. Go find a good Sukkot, come to mine in Silver Spring, see it in person. And at the end of Sukkot, oh boy, it builds to a pinnacle, a culmination of joy with Simcha's Torah. We finish the Torah and begin the Torah again, and we dance. Thank you for spending time in my sukkah, and Chag Sameach, see you next week.